Hello, and welcome to another Light Reading sponsored interview. My name is Phil Harvey. I'm an editor here at Light Reading. And this interview is sponsored by Harmonic. We're going to be talking about Harmonic's win at the 2021 Leading Lights Awards, where they won for best new cable tech product or service. Joining me today from Harmonic is Asaf Matatiao. Uh, Asaf, thanks so much for uh, making the time. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us. And uh, Phil, thanks. We're delighted that Cable S has been recognized for its multi-axis and fiber to the home capabilities. We are committed to continuing our, our pioneering work in, in virtualization and access network te technologies to give operators the most flexibility and how they design their networks. Yeah, that, I think that's a, 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 a lot of uh, the reasoning behind, uh, you know, from our judges or behind why Harmonic uh, took this particular award. Um, so tell us a little bit about uh, Harmonic's cable OS platform and sort of, you know, how it's built, what it enables, and what the payoff is for operators. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So it's been an exciting few years for us with cable OS as a platform. We worked on this from the ground up, expanding um, from a software-based uh, infrastructure, allowing us to develop all kinds of applications on top of our platform. This allows us to address so many different types of footprints and deployment types that are globally um, at our customers' uh, ecosystems. Um, it's As I mentioned, it's built from the ground up as a software-based solution, cloud native. That really brings all kinds of opportunities for our customers in terms of its capabilities, improving performance, uh, ability, for example, to add the fiber to the home capabilities uh, that we um, have recently announced, uh, in addition to our, our DOCSIS capabilities that we've had success in deploying in, in uh, DAA and all other environments as well. Excellent. Um, in the Leading Lights Awards, you know, we put a premium on innovation and, you know, somebody really doing something that hasn't been done before in a space. Um, can you uh, maybe give us a little bit of info about uh, the top innovative features of the cable OS platform that network operators would need to know about? Yeah, we, we looked at taking something that was working in other industries and innovating in our industry and expanding on that. So software, starting with software and having a cloud native infrastructure really is, is the seeding uh, or the investment we made originally that allows us to continue that innovation cycle with feature velocity, software velocity, uh, areas where we're able to expand and address needs are multi-access edge compute, for example, uh, increasing performance while reducing footprint. Um, we all know about uh, the um, capacity demands, especially under, um, under COVID situations where everybody's working from home and using the internet, it's, it's definitely a mission critical service. And having that sort of reliability um, addressed while at the same time reducing your plant footprint, which has always been a, a, you know, a challenge for operators. As you increase your capacity, how do you reduce your footprint, your, your, mm -hmm. green, your sustainability footprint, your, your being green? So reducing, yeah. um, I would say, uh, power, space, cooling, while at the same time addressing subscriber needs today and for the future is at the heart of our innovation. Excellent. Now, you know, in the contest entries, everybody uh, tends to say, oh, you know, our product is, is innovative, of course. And, you know, when we, we sort of bet that, put that to the test, we ask for specifics, we dig in, we research it. Um, they, they all, uh, you know, a lot of products claim to be transforming the industry. Uh, in this case, I, I, I think this is actually happening. So maybe you can give us a little bit of uh, a a detail around how cable OS, the cable OS platform is transforming the cable industry. That's absolutely true. Uh, transformation for us is something that didn't exist before where we could see it with our own eyes. And, and something that's, that's truly transformative is in this case is going from a hardware based single purpose, really custom built platform that over the last 20 years, since 1997 uh, with, with the advent of Doxus, um, everything has been a variation of that. Yes, denser, yes, with more capabilities, uh, but, you know, and addressing the problems over the years. But with Cable OS, we've actually done something, as you said, transform transformative 
by doing it in software on, on two things mm -hmm. that are standard. One is an ethernet be based uh, transport layer between the core and the remote devices, regardless of what they may be, maybe DOCSIS remote devices or remote OLTs for PON, and uh, using software on off the shelf servers and switches basically being able to have a flexible compute architecture, allowing our software to run on compute that exists either at the head end or the hub, which is very familiar to cable operators and service providers, or deeper in the edge, or in fact, up in the cloud. This really transforms our ability to address things as like flexible Mac by having a Mac Anywhere approach. Uh, a Mac is a Doxus Mac that is, is a form of an application that with our transformative technology, is able to run on computes, whether they're on servers in a head end or in a compute that's uh, in a node or an optical node. And combining that with PON technology is a, is a winning proposition. And it gives us the pathway to 10G technologies and beyond. That's great. Yeah, so you're helping operators shift to cloud native systems, and then you're supporting virtualization of the entire access network. Um, it's uh, uh, it all kind of, kind of comes together, uh, you know, to result in uh, a, 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 a trophy for uh, the uh, for the leading light award for best new cable tech product uh, or service. And uh, Asaf from Harmonic, uh, thanks so much for uh, taking the time and congratulations on the award. Thank you. We're very excited about it. And, and thank you for for the award.